Jennifer Coolidge may have rose to fame for her iconic role playing Stifler's mom in the American Pie films, but recently she's also taken over our TV sets on the satirical HBO series White Lotus, and it's been confirmed that she'll be the only season one cast member to return for season two. While Jennifer has become one of the most recognizable faces in Hollywood, it's been a long road for the star and there's still a lot that you don't know about her. Well, if you want to learn more about the story and lifestyle of Jennifer Coolidge, then stay tuned because we'll get into all of that and more here for you on Famous Life. Jennifer Audrey Coolidge is an actress and comedian who was born on August 28, 1961 in Boston, Massachusetts, and then was raised in Norwell, Massachusetts. She was born to parents Gretchen and Paul Constant Coolidge, her father Paul being a plastics manufacturer, while she has a brother Andrew and two sisters, Elizabeth and Susanna. As a child, Jennifer went to orchestra camp for three summers and played the clarinet. She attended Norwell High School and the Cambridge School of Weston, which is reportedly a private boarding high school, and later, Jennifer would continue her university studies at Emerson College in Boston, as well as the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York. During college, Jennifer wanted to be a dramatic actress like Meryl Streep, but instead became a comedian and character actress instead. When Coolidge was 21, she moved to Los Angeles for acting school, where she lived in a rented room in a nursing home with another aspiring actor, one who won bikini contests and then bragged about it, Jennifer said. She was showing a photo of them, but then she said, I just want to tell you something, Jennifer. I have a really good eye for talent. I don't see you as someone in front of the camera. Around the same time, a casting agent had brought Jennifer in, only to tell her she would never cast her in anything, and told her, in your headshot, you look just like a young Candace Bergen. You look nothing like this. I only cast good-looking people in my soaps. Pretty harsh, but Coolidge wouldn't let that stop her from living out her dreams. She moved to New York and became a waitress at Candace Stells at 19th and Park, where Sandra Bullock was a hostess. Jennifer remembers a handful of years where she was lost in a cocaine habit that she claims were a waste. At this time, she would also hit up the trendy clubs and pretend to be the least known and fictional Hemingway daughter, just so she could get into places. But Jennifer's hardcore party habits were getting to be too much, even ending up in the ER some nights or waking up outside. When Coolidge was 27 years old, her parents sent her to rehab. After coming out of rehab, Jennifer discovered improv and joined the improv club at Gotham City in New York, which eventually led her back to LA. Jennifer then joined the Groundlings, a popular comedy troupe that at the time included Will Ferrell, Sherry O'Terry, Chris Kattan, and Chris Parnell. In 1993, when Jennifer was 32, she booked her first big break, even though it was just a small part, as one of Jerry's girlfriends on an episode of Seinfeld titled The Masseuse. Sadly, at the time she snagged this part, her mother was dying of cancer, and Jennifer recalls, My mother's last words to me were like, I can't believe it, but she was thrilled because she didn't think anything was going to happen. Coolidge is known for the most part for her supporting and guest roles and especially in the past. Her career seemed to be full of missed opportunities. The same day she got the role in Seinfeld, Jennifer booked She TV, a short-lived sketch comedy show which basically lasted only a season and went on to appear in Saturday Night Special, which was essentially an SNL ripoff. When Jennifer and some of the Groundlings were sent to audition for the real Saturday Night Live, her new agent decided to play hardball and tell the show that they wouldn't wait for a decision, a move that ended up blowing Jennifer's opportunity. Jennifer also landed a handful of small roles in films over the years, but none were really memorable. In 1999, Coolidge got a break when she portrayed Janine Stifler or Stifler's mom in American Pie, which is a box office hit. She would return for her role in the sequel, as well as land a supporting role in the movie Legally Blonde, another home run. The success led Jennifer to also reprise her role in the 2003 sequel, Legally Blonde 2, Red, White and Blonde. The same year, she played her much-loved role of Stifler's mom once again for American Wedding. In 2003, as part of a development deal, NBC bought a half-hour comedy based on Jennifer's time working at Canistills in New York, but ended up passing on it too. Yet another missed opportunity for the actress. In what was reported to be a consolation prize from the network, Jennifer was cast as Joey Tribbiani's over-sexualized agent Roberta on the Matt LeBlanc Friends spin-off series, which lasted two seasons from 2004 to 2006. Jennifer spoke about this saying, It's so funny when you're on these shows and you plan your life, you think it's all going to go so fabulous, and then two seconds later, it's just through. You're like, oh really? It's all over so soon. 
Speaking about these almost opportunities, Jennifer was almost cast as Lynette in the hit show Desperate Housewives, but that ended up going to Felicity Huffman. In 2004, Jennifer had a role in the rom-com Cinderella story, alongside Hilary Duff, portraying her stepmom, who was vain, self-absorbed, and funny. Over the years, Coolidge had roles appearing on many hit shows, including Friends during its final season, according to Jim, Sex and the City, as well as Frasier, but they were all short-lived. Jennifer appeared briefly in the spoof film Date Movie in 2006, but landed a starring role in the next installment titled Epic Movie, which was released in 2007. However, let's just say it didn't get rave reviews. From 2007 to 2010, Jennifer was steadily working in Hollywood from appearances on shows like The Secret Life of the American Teenager, starring in a Lifetime TV movie, Living Proof, and much more. However, all of these roles didn't seem to be fulfilling acting work for Jennifer, and in 2011, she actually delved into some other hobbies, curating an art show in New Orleans, where she currently resides. At the same time, in June 2011, Jennifer began to do stand-up comedy hosting women in film at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Well, this ended up going so good that Jennifer decided to take the act on the road and went on to do shows all over the country and then the globe for two years including Australia and Scotland. In October 2011, Jennifer returned to TV with a recurring role in the sitcom Two Broke Girls as Sophie, a Polish neighbor of the two lead characters, and then she was promoted to main cast until the series was cancelled in 2017. While Jennifer was still busy working, she actually shouts out Ariana Grande for giving her career a little energy boost. In 2018, Ari did a dead-on impression of Coolidge while appearing on The Jimmy Fallon Show which led to Jennifer appearing in Ariana's music video for her song, Thank You Next. Jennifer told Jimmy Fallon about starring in the video. It was the beginning of a lot of cool things that happened for me. I was going through a dead zone. Not much was going on. Then Ariana did this imitation on your show and you encouraged her and then this ball got rolling. Now, over the past few years, Jennifer has been in quite a few impressive roles, including the 2020 comedy film Like a Boss with Tiffany Haddish, Rose Byrne, and Salma Hayek, as well as the drama Promising Young Woman, which received universal acclaim. In October 2020, Jennifer was cast as Tanya, a drunk and troubled woman on holiday in the HBO satirical series The White Lotus, which was filmed in Hawaii. The show premiered in 2021 and was praised, with Coolidge also receiving critical acclaim for her performance as Tanya, even getting nominations for multiple awards. While Jennifer is set to return for season 2 of The White Lotus and she will be the only one from the first season to do so. Production is taking place in Sicily, Italy, and she will star alongside new cast members including Aubrey Plaza, Theo James, Megan Fahey, and many more. While Jennifer is landing some awesome roles now, she feels that in the past she was passive about her career in a sense. She took other people's word too much and assumed they knew better, but in the grand scheme of things, Coolidge knows that she's achieved a lot. After her many almost opportunities, eventually Jennifer emerged as a versatile character actress with her no holding back approach to comedy and playing uninhibited, sometimes even unappealing characters. But her talent always shines through, regardless of what unique role she takes on. Jennifer has been splitting her time between two homes, one in Hollywood and one in New Orleans, where she owns a historic mansion before Hurricane Katrina hit the city, and then she became involved in its restoration. Before the pandemic, Jennifer fantasized about leaving everything behind and moving to the middle of nowhere, but quickly changed her mind. She said about the pandemic, I really figured out who I was. I need city life, city living. You think you really know yourself until you actually go through something and then you're like, I had this all wrong. She also loves animals and has a pet dog named Chui that was rescued from a meat factory in Korea. As for what's next for Jennifer Coolidge, she's set to appear in the Netflix limited series The Watcher and Jennifer Lopez in Josh Duhamel rom-com Shotgun Wedding. Either way, I think we'll be seeing much more of Jennifer and we're glad that she persisted with her acting and comedy career. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.